uh, what I main thing that I observe is Chinese always trying to be objective. Secondly, subjective. Analyze what is happening, analyze what is happening in and around, analyze your opinion, then draw your conclusion and then whether you are in a position to make changes. And these are fundamental things that the Marxism teaches us. And in 1978, Ben Shabin, under his leadership, he took into account uh, the developments in the developed countries, developments in the socialist countries, as well as developments in the developing countries, and made a proper assessment of the world situation, and decided upon a new strategy. And that is why, on that basis, that he decided upon a strategy of not to just copy the Soviet model, to go in for a new model, taking the concrete conditions prevailing in China. Today, the entire world is now talking about this new strategy. Another theoretical contribution uh, that I believe the Chinese uh, Communist Party has offered to the world is that peace and peaceful coexistence. It is necessary to have world peace, otherwise you won't be able to accomplish their, your task. So that is why the Chinese Communist Party contributed that their peaceful coexistence, which is relevant even today. And that is why the basically foreign policy as well as the internal economic policy brought Chinese Communist Party today to become a second world power. So uh, the peaceful existence, coexistence is the main thing. So we'll, there's no other choice. And day by day, the entire world is going to embrace that. Uh,